Hi guys and girls on YouTube. Well, okay, so I'm here in the stock room. I'm looking for something to make a video. Um, now the problem I've got is um, the shelves and then behind them shelves is even more shelves. So I can't actually get to the stuff in the middle. Um, so anyway, I've been having a bit of a route round and uh, I found what I was looking for and it's right down the back on the third layer of shelves. So um, just stick with me and uh, we'll get it out and make a video. Right, well, this is what I was looking for. Um, it appears to be a homemade oscilloscope. Now, I picked this up about 10 years ago in a house clearance, somebody who died, and um, I bought quite a lot of stuff off the relatives. Um, now, on first inspection, it's definitely an oscilloscope, and it's definitely, well, I say definitely, it looks like it's homemade. Um, if we look under here, uh, you've got a transformer, um, well, actually, there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There appears to be five transformers. Uh, now, one of these is actually a choke. I'm not sure what all the others are. That's definitely the main transformer. Um, if we turn it around to the other side, if you look under that side, um, there's a great big fuse there. Um, there's another fuse. That appears to be... Uh, an EHT rectifier valve um, there's definitely two very high voltage capacitors there uh, that's an interesting thing it's a plug and socket and it appears to be made out of an old valve base um, with a, a cork from a bottle pushed in the top um, and somebody's put uh, four bits of wire in to make a, a plug and socket from a cork and an old valve base um, and there's another one there so if we turn over and have a look underneath I'll just stop the camera right I've got a little bit more light under there um, somebody who's good at metal working has made all this case because it's all perfectly bent um, two capacitors there I've reformed them already um, the resistor here has got black in the middle, so that indicates that this has obviously been run for quite a while. Um, them four contacts there, they go up to um, a fuse under there. And um, that's probably a universal mains transformer. Um, but if you look at all these corners and the actual construction, somebody who's very, very good at metal working has made all that. Um, now, if we look under here, we've got uh, a better uh, view now. That's the cork plug and socket, the two high voltage capacitors. That's the underneath of it. Um, so this whole frame and this bit is all homemade. Um, but strangely enough, the top piece looks different and it says for use on indicator only. So um, let's just take off the top and just have a look in the top. Right, that's the side view. Now this is where it gets interesting. Uh, this bottom bit is obviously all homemade, uh, but the top bit is actually a commercially built unit. Um, so it looks like this is some sort of, probably a radar um, scope chassis off some government surplus. Um, and somebody's actually converted it to an oscilloscope and uh, they've added this piece on the bottom. Um, the valves look like the VR91, which I'm not sure, um, is that an EF50? It's something like an EF50 anyway, it's a valve in a metal case. Um, yeah, so this top bit is a commercial built, and the bottom bit and the front panel has been added onto it. Um, so I'm not just sure why that would be a separate piece um, but I'm, I'm assuming this is government surplus maybe radar out of an aircraft um, anyway the capacitors have been reforming for quite a few hours um, let's plug it in and see what happens guys right well it's plugged in ready to go but just before we switch it on um, that's the tube it's a VCR 97 um, I've actually noticed here um, there's a number on this back plate so whether that's uh, 
a model of whatever this indicator is, a RMC 1059. But anyway, let's turn it around. It's just on a piece of paper so I don't scratch my bench. Um, let me stand well back. And uh, I've had this for 10 years and not plugged it in. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, that's a good start. One of the valves is lit up. Oh, two of the valves are lit up. Pilot lamp's lit up. So look what happens on the front. Um, I don't know what these controls are because they're not marked. These are marked, but none of the others are. I presume that's the time base setting. Focus. Brilliant. So well, that's full up. We've got no picture. Um, hmm. So nothing's actually happened. Uh, the valves are lit up there. You can't see if the EF50s are. I presume the EF50s. You can't see if they're lit up because they're in the metal can. Um, but yeah, an interesting thing. But it's not actually doing anything. Oh, I can see the, the tube's actually lit up down there. There's another. Yeah, well, it ain't doing anything. But uh, anyway, guys, an interesting piece of kit, that. And uh, I'll just stop the camera. I'll give you just a quick underside view of the uh, display part. Right, well it, it actually turns out that the, um, the high tension fuse, the high voltage rectifier, it goes to a fuse and the fuse was blown. Uh, now I've measured the EHT, it's about 1 kV. Um, but as you can see it's pretty blurred, it doesn't really do a lot. The input appears to be the socket here, so I would just touch it with my finger. Um, so you see it is actually doing something. Um, but um, some of these controls don't really seem to do a lot so um, yeah okay let's have a look at the underside right so we've got some better light now that's the underside of it um, plenty of waxy paper capacitors that probably need changing anyway that might be why it's not working very good But yeah, all in all, an interesting piece of uh, equipment. Um, somebody might actually see this top bit and uh, recognise it. So uh, yeah, all right then, guys. I'll um, I'll see you in the next video. Just to keep subscribing to my channel for some more. Yeah, all right then. Goodbye.